How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and BMW is one of the most loved and hated car brands on the face of the earth. I'm kind of indifferent. I really don't care both sides. I think their fan base is kind of cringe. Sorry, not sorry. You guys do it to yourselves. Okay. You guys post some funny memes. I mean, I can make a whole video on that alone. If you guys want to see that, let me know down below. But uh, yeah, I really don't mind the cars themselves. I think they're, they're cool for the most part, but they really screwed up. BMW really screwed up. I can't I can't stop on seeing it now. I'm sorry, but this new M2 that they just released, if you guys haven't seen it yet, um, go check it out. But there's some spy photos of this M2 and it ain't looking so good, Chief. I feel bad for you, BMW fanboys, because this has to be one of the ugliest cars to come out in quite some time. Brace yourself for this. It is disgusting. Take a look. I'm not fucking you. This is it. What is this? This GTA 5 Roblox car. Why does it look like that? Like, what happened? Why? Like from every angle, it's just a boxy mess. It doesn't look good at all. Like, like, look at this photo of it. What is that? What the f is this piece of Everybody all over Instagram is posting about it. At least that's what I've been seeing. And nobody seems to like it. Like BMW has done some pretty weird stuff in the past. But this design just doesn't really look like them. Like it has the kidney grills, sure, but it, it it's a it's a Roblox Fortnite fucking GTA 5 BMW. Like it literally looks like somebody tried to not get copyrighted for making a BMW. It looks so funky. I do not like it. I don't like I mean it looks a little better from this angle just because I'm looking at more of the car, but the front end, the rear end, every end of the car just looks horrible. Like take a look at this shot. Why does the bumper look like that? Why is it shaped like that? Why does it go in in the center? Why does the, 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 the ends stick out more? Like it looks like a, an actual bumper car. It looks funky as hell. The diffuser and the exhaust looks fine. The trunk looks just weirdly oversized. The taillights are chill. Don't really mind them. You know, they're, they're kind of chill in there. But the bumper is just nothing. I'm, I'm not I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it on this one. Look, I'm not going to lie. When BMW first showed us this monstrosity i wasn't a fan of it it has grown on me over the years but this still looks like a bmw it looks like somebody like memed out a bmw but it looks like a bmw this thing besides the bmw colors on it does not look like a bmw whatever intern designed this piece of shit fire him fire him on the spot doesn't even look like it's sitting like aggressive either like like this looks like it's got fucking a fist load of wheel gap like look at that and look at this like this thing looks like it's sitting right this thing definitely is not and every photo of it man it's it's just it's not looking good well the wheels look okay at best it just doesn't look like a bmw now i've heard rumors of it making like decent power and that's great and all but i don't care if it makes decent power if it looks like shit it looks like shit and that's what we're talking about today like okay this little rendering of it looks a bit better but it also has a couple extra things that aren't on the real ones it has like a fender vent logo decal thing which looks a lot better the mirrors are black and not paint matched it has a little like spoiler that is black and so, so it's like it's breaking up the color a little bit you know and, it, and it's working your eyes it's not just all blue roblox car that thing is fucking ugly thank god i'll never have to see those taillights i will never be smoked by one of those i i, I will make sure of it I don't care if I'm in my Civic. I don't care if I'm in my Supra. Not happening. Look at BMW fanboys. Tell me right now that that thing looks good and quit lying to yourself because that thing does not. Car manufacturers recently have been just like, they, they've been doing like questionable things like Ford with the new S650. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But I'll quickly break down my thoughts on that. Um, just summarize a couple of the, the points that I did make in that video. I like the car, but I feel like it's a lazy um, upgrade from the S550. I feel like it's too much like the S550 and that's my biggest gripe with it. Like from a distance, it's gonna look like an S550. I will obviously be able to tell over time that it's an S650, but it's just too similar. Like, like they just like slightly changed it again. And it, I don't know, to me that feels lazy after all these years of us looking at the S550 with the S550 facelift on top of that, just seems like another facelift. Cool car, but also lazy. This. I don't even know what the hell I, they, they fuck. This is what happens when when COVID hits and you're designing from home and you've been locked in your house all the time, I guess. This, this is the, the creation we get because this thing was probably being designed for the last couple of years. Right. So I, I just don't like it. I, it's just way too boxy. I don't I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's super aerodynamic. Maybe maybe stuff shaped like a brick just is aerodynamic. Probably not, though. 
Dude, the way it's like, it's like sticking its ass up in the air too, and it's not even a good... Oh, why'd they have to ruin my boy like that? I like the M2. If we actually just look at the modern M2, like, look at that. That's way better. There's actual shapes on the door. The front bumper isn't just a fucking box. Like, this is... 10 times better than what we just saw that or that which one you guys choosing i know this is like another render it looks like but even though this thing looks angry it's just what is this giant box front end it looks like a wrx front end almost honestly it looks like a wrx front end if we just mesh the the mustaches together it's a wrx i mean that's a bit better i guess but i i still like this this is like the best looking m2 out there right now Hey, at least they're bringing it back. They ain't like fucking Chevy that just shelved their damn Camaro. Same with fucking Dodge and all them. They just shelf their fucking performance cars. Pussies. Yeah, th this pig face fucking thing grew on me. I don't see the box car growing on me. I'm just saying I, I don't see it happening. It's not like I was going to buy it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, that's just my own thoughts on that. One company that I will say surprisingly knocked it out of the park with their new version of their car. Obviously, it's been out for a while now, so we all have seen it. But the 400Z. I just honestly love like every inch of that car. Like I, I would like to change the front bumper a little bit. I just think it's a little too boxy on the on the lower grill. But I think that is like the perfect way to do like a retro futurism design of like of like, you know, paying homage to the old cars and then making it look modern and appealing to a whole new audience. Like it looks cool. It looks like an old Datsun, but it's not. I just kind of wish it wasn't a big black square on the front end, but whatever but in my opinion that totally looks like an old like 280z just modernized and i think they really knocked it out of the park the headlight shape the rerun everything about it the silhouette great i feel like that's how you do it and i, I usually don't i usually don't give nissan credit too much so that's surprising that they were they managed to do something right with that every 12 year old would have wet dreams for a year if they released this though me not really don't really care i mean i think it's cool it's like an updated r34 but it's also like kind of lazy at the same time you know like you can't release that and then charge supercar prices for something that looks like a 90s car you know can't do that. Car manufacturers really got to get their shit together if they want people to still be hyped about the new cars that they're releasing. A lot of people were hyped for the Mark V Supra. Then they showed what it actually looked like. There was still hype there, but it wasn't as much as there was with their cool concept cars. Like they completely fucked us on that one. The C8 Corvette released and it has potential. Um, but from factory, in my opinion, it is one of the ugliest cars out there. It's too Hot Wheels like I just don't like it. But yeah, Nissan knocked it out of the park. Mustang to hit a line drive. They didn't knock it out of the park. They got a nice base hit. BMW, though, strikeout looking not happening. I'm sure it's going to drive great. I'm sure it's going to be a hell of a track car, but I am not paying a, a dime towards something that looks like it came from fucking a 12 year old's Roblox game. Not happening. Not happening. Hell, the Roblox one looks even better than the one that they actually released. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of similar. See what I'm saying? Kind of Robloxy. Kind of kind of looks like shit, right? You know, nobody asked, but I'll answer it anyways. If I had to choose one of the cars that recently came out over the last couple of years, I'd probably choose the 400 ZX. Um, the new Mustang looks great, but I already kind of have some like that. I think a nice little sports coupe with a nice amount of stock horsepower is all I'm really looking for right now. 400 ZX would be sweet. Nissan sponsor me. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you for today. Let me know your thoughts on the new BMW down below. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.